I'm here in Glasgow's Mary Hill on Lochburn Road, which was the site of the city's notorious and infamous Magdalen Asylum. The building has since been raised to the ground and in its place are luxury flats. In September 1958, the inmates staged a three-day riot which closed its doors for good. The girls, all aged between 15 and 19, claimed they were physically and emotionally abused. They scaled a 10-foot wall, they smashed a window and ran along the streets of Mary Hill. Today I'm going to the Mitchell Library to meet archivist Dr Irene O'Brien to learn more about the history behind Glasgow's notorious Magdalen Institution. So, how much is known about that within the city? In terms of the Magdalen Institute, probably not a lot. We have all the early records from its origins. For a very small minority, they may have come across that. But for most of the Glasgow citizens, I'm sure it's something they know absolutely nothing about. They're synonymous with Ireland and synonymous yeah, with being run yeah. by nuns. But we have here the, the matron who looks yeah. a very formidable character, yeah. Mrs Patterson. And the Glasgow Magdalen Asylum, like many on the mainland UK yeah. weren't run by no, no. The, the, the Catholic Church. When it became the actual institute in 1859, we actually have the members who were responsible for it and they are people of some substanding with religious conviction um, and they've got, they have a desire actually to both repress the, that kind of vice within the city. And, and who would be put into Glasgow's Magdalen Asylum? Um, girls, I'm assuming, newly fallen in, in the words yeah. of the, the, the record, so mm. newly fallen girls, but not girls who were pregnant. That wasn't, it wasn't mm. the mother and baby homes that, that no. we associate no. with. If you look at the list, particularly at the early period, it will tell you why they were there or what their occupations were. Some of them were at risk because um, the family home had broken up, maybe the mother had died and the father was on his own. Maybe they were orphaned or maybe they had been deserted. So some of it will be children, um, children or girls who actually were at, at risk. But girls who hadn't committed a crime, did they have a choice whether they went here or not? I mean, did they, they didn't go here through a judicial system, did they? They would have been sent there for people who were saying they were going to help them, basically. Um, so it, actually, for them, it's a kind of a responsibility they bear to these girls to actually to save them, I suppose. That's what they're doing um, in, their, in their eyes. This is the first um, notification in the press about 26 girls run away from the home of the breakout at Lochburn House. And interestingly enough, it says four of the girls actually went to Record House. This is in the Daily Record from 1958. So four of them actually went to the press to, to talk about their complaints. And But it was this picture here the next day. Once they were rounded up by the police, they broke out again and said that they would continue to break out until uh, their complaints were heard and something happened. This picture here of the girls actually running away, they, and this picture here of where they made their escape, down a back staircase. I looked at the girls and thought, what happened to them? Where are they? What, what happened to them afterwards and what were their stories? An inquiry took place into the abuse allegations, but no one was ever brought to justice. We may never know their names, we may never see their faces, but as long as we spare a thought for the girls of the Magdalene Institution, they'll never be forgotten. Mm -hmm.